first of all, Kenny, I know it's the end and final day of the January transfer window. We'll talk about that in a moment or two's time. Business done and business hoping to be done, but of course, focus is firmly on the pitch, isn't it? And uh, you have no time to dwell on what happened at the weekend because you've got another game in a, in a few hours' time. No, we, we have to reflect on, on what happened on Saturday. We never played conditions as well as as well as Rotherham. They had a bit more know-how and experience um, to, to play those conditions. They done it better than us first half and what we done second half. I thought we defended well, a couple of, couple of mistakes and um, I, I'm sure they only had one shot on target and scored two goals. But um, overall, the defensive side of it is, is quite good. But we still need to get back to keeping clean sheets. And then down the other, the other end, I think the first half, we had a couple of half chances and we never done well enough second half. We've, again, trying to play probably too much football in, in our half instead of doing what Rotherham did and playing closer towards their goal. We've obviously spoken about what, how important the January transfer window is in terms of your last chance to try and improve that particular squad. But of course, when you look at the game that you've got next, how big a game and how important is that? We, we've been to a, a few of these where we said Morecambe was a massive game, it's, it's another three points, is there are still a long way and a lot of points to, to play for. We want to go there and win. We've, we've got players who, to come, in, to come in the team from, from Saturday, got a lot of choices. Hopefully a couple of more come in today and um, hopefully we'll go there I said, and, and get the three points. We'll, we'll be, as important as any three points what we can get at the moment. We need to do better away from home. I think we've won one away from home and we need to perform better and again be better going forward and get back to scoring goals. It's a horrible feeling, isn't it, every time you look at that league table, you see your team in that bottom four. But you've got to try and claw that gap back and you know if if you can get that second away win of the season it would be down to five points and you know it's, it's smaller and it gives you an opportunity to get where you want to get yeah that's again i go back to that every every game we we can't do much about the league at the moment and what's what's gone has gone we we need to look forward and starting with tuesday night getting the three points and um, concentrating on us and getting as many points as we can to to stay up. Um, we can't do much about other results everywhere else and where we are and how many points it is between who, between it. I think when it comes down to it, if it comes down to a couple of games to go, we, you look at that and see how many how many points you need and what other teams around you are doing and um, really focus on, again, it's probably still focus on, on yourself, but you'll, you'll know close to the time where you are and what you need. How disappointing has it been to you know to see where you are now coming in, into February? It's been a long time where you've been struggling. You, you really feel as though you, you've let yourselves down, you know, on quite quite a lot of occasions and games where you you should have got more points. Yeah, it's it's been difficult. We had we had a, a couple of lads who who went late on um, at the start of the season, and we had a couple coming in very very late. We if you look at the team from last year to to this year. I think there's about eight changes from the start in the eleven, so it, it's been it's been tough, but we knew it was going to be like this. And um, the lads who have come in and have done well, and some are not quite ready, but are still there in, in the team. And again, they'll they'll be good players in the future, but still coming along nicely. Had a goal probably when weren't expected, um, so it, it's been tough, but we're getting players in in now to help and. Um, Hopefully we can keep developing the players, but mainly getting the results to stay in this league so the players, when they are ready, can um, have a go to, to get up to near the top of, the top of this league. You're a club that prides itself on attacking football and trying to play the right way. And a few times again this season, there's been little spells where goals have been hard to come by. And I think you know, you're going into the Gilling game off the back of three games without a goal. Concerning, or do you think there's still enough in there to be creative and to get get the goals scored? Yeah, I think I think we we've got players in the team who can score goals. We've got players who can create goals. Again, it's playing the, the right type of football at the right time. So sometimes we're playing too short, and sometimes we're playing too too long. 
in certain games, Cambridge too long and then Rotherham too short. So we, we need a mixture and that comes down to experience and knowing the conditions and knowing how to deal with certain situations and certain times in football matches. And again, it, that's, that's the developing side and hopefully the, we develop quicker than, than what we are so we can get to that point. And now we've got some, some players in who, who have been there and done it and been on loan to the likes of Akron's and Stanley and it's sort of, they're, they're coming in to help and with the, the other lads who, who have been playing will still, will still get the chance and hopefully learn from um, the mistakes what we, we've made so far. We'll talk more about the, the, the players that are in and the January window in the moment. I just want to wrap up all over the weekend. It was disappointing for Zach Williams, of course. The thoughts are with him. It's not a COVID-related illness, but he's out of action at the moment, isn't he? No, all our thoughts are with Zach and we want him to be as healthy as possible and that's the a, that's a main thing. Football's come secondary to, to Zach's health. We, we want him to recover and get back because he's a, he's a big miss to the, the team and with the way he's played and the way he's developing has been really, really good. So um, the sooner we can get him back, the better for the team. But as I said, the, the main thing we, are, we all hope he's, he, he's healthy. Well, everybody who looks at that January transfer window, whether you're a Premier League follower or a, a League Two follower, it's a, it's a very active sort of month and you've been very active in, in, in that transfer window and all those players are going to be ready and available for you now to, to select. Do you feel when you just look at it, it's been a good window for you? Yeah, we feel like we've got some, some really good players in and we, we feel like we can change what we're doing and um, have, a, have a good squad and a good bench so we, we don't play a, a youth cup and then have three scholars who are quite not, not quite ready. Who are, who are good players, so it's not, it's not their fault. We want players to be able to come off the bench and people fighting for places and, and pushing the others, so if, if they're not doing as well as what you think, um, they come out of the team and someone else gets a chance and they, they take the chance, So we, which was happening in the last couple of years. Um, we haven't, at times, been able to do that through injury, through illnesses, so if, if we can do that, um, again, it'll make everyone be pushing each other harder and more competition for places. It's never easy, everybody thinks it's quite easy to, to sign players, just put a piece of paper there and they sign it, it's done. It's not that easy, it can be complicated, but you've got your players through the door, fingers crossed you're gonna have a good lot of options to, to choose from for the, from now to the end, end of the season. How key was it that you got the balance right of your positions that you filled? Yeah, we, we, we were missing a few, a few positions and we got players to, to come in and fill, and, we're, as I said, we're, we'll be looking for one or two more today and um, again, we're, we're, we're trying to fill in most of the positions and have the competition for, and I've, I think we had two, two for every position who were push, pushing each other and if you had two bad games on, poor, poor games on the spin, you, you probably wouldn't find yourself in the team for the third one. So again, if we can push each other and then get a, a select 11 well, winning games of football and get some momentum and try and win two games on the ball. I'm sure at some point we, we, will, we will do that and once we do that, um, we'll be right in, the, right in the push to, to get out of the relegation zone. So the um, sooner, that, sooner that comes, the better. Um, and obviously, again, the lads who were, who were just not quite getting, getting in the team, when that does happen, they, they have to keep pushing and keep believing that they're better than the player who's playing and, and be ready for, for when they get their opportunity. The season is rapidly progressing, there's no doubt about that and you, you have brought a lot of players in and even the players that you've got with you and have been with you for a couple of years and those who've joined this particular uh, season as well, it's all about now hitting that ground running, you really have got a, a mini season ahead of you. Yeah, we, we can't run out of time, you, it's got to be here now and starts on, on Tuesday, we, we don't want to be ch chasing all the time, we, we want to get out out of the relegation zone as soon as possible and, and try and move up, up the league. And now that I come by winning games of football and the sooner we can do that, the better. And as I said, we, we need to try and get back-to-back -back victories, home and away, and um, try and build some momentum. What are you expecting then from Gillingham? You know, everybody would look to that result in football. They are hammered 7-2. You're the next opponent to them. What are your thoughts? Gillingham are going to be looking to respond and um, have a look, reflect on what they've 
not done right on Saturday and um, probably be tougher for us to go, to go there. Um, after you, you've had a heavy, heavy loss, you, you're looking to bounce back and they've got some, some good players, some effective players and it's a, it's a tough place to go. So, um, But we need to concentrate on us and um, get back to creating chances, scoring goals, as I said, and keeping clean sheets. And if, if we can do that and we build some momentum and get back-to-back -back wins and try and go on little runs, we can move up the table. You always go out to, to win every game, but is there more emphasis on getting three points than, 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 than there has been before because of where you both are on the table? What do you think, Graham? <laughs> no, of course. Um, yeah, we again we want to pull away from from Jill Gim. They'll be thinking they'll be thinking the same same as us. Uh, they'll, they'll be thinking they've got an opportunity to um, get the three points and push up the league. And um, we we want to make a gap between us and them and look look ahead and look above us and try and be catching teams above us. So one final question: and if you're having two chocolate buttons, is a bit of a gamble. A bit of a wager, a bit of a stake on it. Would you put two chocolate buttons on? A couple more players might be coming before the window shuts. I wouldn't put anything on it, but yeah, I, I'm guessing that, that um, we'd like two players to two, one or two, two or three, whatever you want to call it. We, we'd like a couple of players to, to come in um, before the window closes.